Ramble. Let's face it. I am hotter than you. Welcome to Sound the Alarm number 100. And if Ben Franklin. Big Bill Daddy. Blue stripes, baby. 100 and how many donations? Big bucks. 100. Big Benjamins. Let's go. We did it. Welcome to Guilty Pleasures, and if this is your first episode, I promise you we never do that any other time. (laughs) We do it every time. Every week. Every episode. Every number should be celebrated. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to what's sure to be a burner. (laughs) Yeah. We're talking about Twilight Uh, Eclipse. Eclipse. That was episode number one. We started with Twilight. Episode 100, we're back to Twilight. (laughs) We haven't changed it all. No, we haven't. No we growth. We've watched a lot of good Ooh. movies on this fucking podcast. Yeah, we've watched a hundred, hundred movies. A hundred movies. But this is number 100, Guilty Whores. We love you so. Thank you for being here with us. Can, can, we, can we tell them the surprise? We you're, want, gonna, you're gonna tease them this that far ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah, tease them. It's the hundredth episode. We gotta give them something saucy. Okay. Give, yeah, them, yeah. give them right. that sauce. We're finally getting merch. <laughs> Guys, oh my it's god. Guilty pleasures merch. Cheeking. We're not gonna tell you what it is, but I will just say this. We were laughing the whole meeting. Yeah. You were laughing the whole meeting. Oh, we, yeah. were, we laughing. were laughing. Oh my god. We, we were had... like, oh my god, that's so stupid. Oh Do my it. God. Yeah. Fuck yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they they pitched us some pretty down down the middle ideas and, and we, we said, went, mm, Nope. No. <laughs> no. No, absolutely not. That's yeah. cool. At one we point, so, the question was asked, can we legally get away with that? <laughs> yeah. So that's going to give you an idea. More than once. More than, More than once. once. Yeah, several times. Yeah, we, we might have to get, get lawyers sued. involved. Yeah, we merch. might get sued. But today, we are talking about Twilight Eclipse, wow. the enigmatic third installment to the Twilight Eclipse. Franchise. Um, yeah. Little fun Third fact one. is when we found out this was the hundredth episode, we said, "What better way to celebrate mm-hmm. than with the fan fave? We got to yep. go back to where it all started, yep. Twilight. Reverts. Why don't we do the finale? Oh my God, part one, part two. We'll do them both together." <laughs> and I was talking about that in the office, Whoops. and uh, Desiree said, "You missed one." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> and it turns out there's five movies in this <laughs> wow, franchise. We did not know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not four. So no. we there's, this is this is the middle stepchild. And boy, isn't it the best. Uh, you know what they say about the thirds? Nobody ever forgets about them. Yeah, ever. Or the favorite? Ever no problems at all. At all. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah not Godfather 3, Spider-Man 3, yep. Shrek 3 Ever After. Yep. Yep. All the best <laughs> all the movies best ones. are the third installment. And Twilight Eclipse is no exception. <laughs> Should I hit him with a little synopsis? Hit us with the synopsis. Bella Swan Ooh. is back. Mm. And she's got her hottie boyfriend, Edward. They're fucking in a field. Whoa. Not No, they're not. No, they're, no, they're not. not. She's a virgin. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. They're making out, and Edward says, you know what? It's time to get married. But Bella isn't sure. She wants to get turned, but she's not going to get turned into a vampire until she <laughs> graduates. But also, Jacob's hot, and he's got abs now. Oh, yeah. And then there's someone named Victoria? Question yeah. mark. She has red hair, and she's raising an army of vampire babies. Baby vampires. And they're going to come and young blood. kill you. <laughs> young bloods. Why didn't they call them young They should have called them young blood. I'm sorry, your synopsis. <laughs> sorry. I No, I disagree. I think you should continue. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> and they should have called them young bloods. That is true. Yeah. One obvious. of the, the most obvious puns, yeah. and then they also could have just been like, like Young Blood. Yeah. <laughs> it's been fucking great. Like, that's how they come out of their hiding. <laughs> All their pasty, pale bodies. But can yeah. you imagine the pasty white lady Victoria saying, Listen here, Young Blood? Yes. <laughs> That would have made this movie perfect. <laughs> listen, young blood. Listen, listen here, young blood. For whatever reason, her hair is slicked like back. <laughs> she has a fucking pimp cane. No. <laughs> and a oh fur coat. Oh. oh my god, I would, I would have loved this movie. Oh maybe, boy. Maybe. Yeah, but I, here it is. Blacken up the Eclipse yes. franchise, the Twilight franchise. Yeah. Um and uh, yeah, let's do a black exploitation take on the Twilight Eclipse movie. I, I would yeah. love that. <laughs> um, 
Uh, what else has happened? And basically, Belle is torn between two worlds. Yeah. Does she want to have vampire sex or doggy dog sex? Okay. Ooh. And you got to watch out for... Whoa. It. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And you got to watch out because hanging in the rafters are those Volturi... Oof, they're always Buzzer. watching. Yeah. But beyond those fucking new bloods, beyond those Italians. young bloods, the fucking <laughs> Italians. <laughs> That's fucking Italians. They're Italiano <laughs> and the Perios. Always in the wings, they baby. They are coming for you. Uh. <laughs> they're always ready. Nothing says Italian like El Fanning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Oh, God. If this movie uh. just fully leaned into full-on stereotypes <laughs> and the Volteri were... <laughs> I am going to suck your blood. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. Seems very silly. Some say the world will end in fire. Oh. Some say in ice. And with that, the film begins. Wow. Um, I, Garrick, you shared before the podcast that you took a lot of notes. Yeah. I took a lot of notes. Please elaborate. I took a lot of notes. Um, I started the movie and I literally, <laughs> I literally wrote down, listen, man, I am a black keys fan. <laughs> 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 as soon as it started, I am in. And then I and I and it went down a little bit more, and I was like, okay, wait, this is interesting. I need to get my computer for this. Yeah, he went full full hands, full wrists hands. on the keyboard. Yeah, he, full... he couldn't just tippy typey with his fingers. No, no two thumbs. I need no. 10 fingers. You know, I am going to say something controversial. Uh -huh. Ooh. I think... Shocking for the show. This, <laughs> yeah, 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 you know me. Hot very takes. agreeable woman. Scolding hot oh, takes. Oh, uh, that's merch. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> agreeable <laughs> young woman. <laughs> And then just a tea cup. Agreeable yeah. woman uh, is an incredible yeah, shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, see, there you go. We did it for Same you guys. Same fun as young woman. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, the music in this movie makes this movie 20 times better. Mm, we knew that they had a good soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking even about the shit that y'all think is cheesy. Like when Jacob is seen for the first time and he yeah. turns around and it's just... Um, oh, that Jacob reveal! I was like, yeah. my dude, my blues, boy. blues my guitar, boy. tight I'm black sorry, shirt, but I a was, tight yeah. black shirt, just yeah. like full. Yeah. What are those called? Like a Hanes tee? Yeah, I, uh, crew neck. A Looking crew -neck? like he just got out of the I shower. Was, yeah, yeah. It Always was, wet. It was sick. It was like a clearing mm -hmm. of Smoke. high school children. Yeah. As they walked away, and then you just see Jacob, and you're like, guess what? Jacob's hot now. Oh, yeah. So you are correct that the Twilight movie has soundtracks that slap yep. certified bangers. Uh -huh. Twilight had original Money. music. Oh, and music. Made wow. for it, including my boy's Vampire Weekend having a original wow. track. Wow. Called Jonathan Lowe. It's not one of my favorite songs, but it is a song. Wow. And don't they play it and someone goes, I love this song. I believe that was the Muse song. Oh, okay. Wow. They have the Muse? They at Muse. They've got Florence and the Machine, oh the Black God. Keys, yes. Beck, CeeLo Green. I don't remember that. Okay. What happened uh, to CeeLo? I mean, he's chilling. Yeah, he got, made so much money. Made okay, all cool. the money and said, fuck you. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. All right. He did. He did it right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not continuing to chase clout like no. us. <laughs> That's a con <laughs> could couldn't be me. Couldn't understand. That's the correct choice. Uh -huh. I, I like that for a living. Yeah. Uh, I wish. Oh my god. I stay fit. I want you to know, dear audience, that if you ever afford me enough success, I will leave you. I will <laughs> leave. <laughs> Oh my god! I am slowly peeling every sticker of social media off of my little trapper. Stop keeper. it! And until I can fucking leave it completely. Your bitch ass could never oh. all the way get oh, off Twitter. Oh, are you fucking kidding you would me? Not, I'm you already would not. off of Twitter. Kelsey, no. you should be directing that at me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I meant to say, Zachary, <laughs> your bitch yeah. ass will never I, be I off love, Twitter. I love, I love validation yeah. too yeah. much. Twitter is. Fun. It's because we're Leos. Yeah. You <sighs> might still have a chance. Okay. We run, don't. Garrick, run. run. Yeah, run. run. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the soundtrack is a banger. Uh, the, the film opens with... Whew. Yeah. The film opens with Bella and Edward no. in a field of flowers. No. I'm wrong. Oh, you're right. The yeah. film How opens yeah. with a horrible oh, yeah, action a, scene. A truly horror a horrible scene. action scene. It's a horror scene. 
Yeah. Um, it is raining because Seattle. Duh. Duh. It's got to rain in Seattle. Yeah. Um, and a young man is, is being mauled. Is being mauled by after, a drive-by vamp. Yeah, just coming Dri- out of a <laughs> just a hundred miles an hour. Yeah, hundred miles an hour. Just coming this out way, of a party, that and way. then a vampire is running by, making noises that sound exactly like a horse. And <laughs> I don't know. What? I don't know if you heard that. Uh, what part of the horse? I thought th- just the horse, just Wait, like a horse name. Just the aura of a horse. You know, just kind of like a horse. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, what I really admire about this franchise is that it was at on the top of the world. Yeah. Nothing was bigger. No. Absolutely. And they said, "Who cares? Yeah. yeah. Nobody We're still gonna make this action scene." Just be a man going vroom vroom yeah, <laughs> by, yeah, yeah, yeah. by camera. Drew, drive by vamp. It is it is super weird because with the Fast and Furious franchise, the Superior mm-hmm. franchise, Amelia. Um, every every I was gonna say episode. Every entry into the franchise, the effects got better. Yeah. No. everything got better. <laughs> they everything, went to space. You know, they went to space. They I don't know. The stakes got bigger. They, uh, like the explosions got larger. All that stuff. And then with this. It's almost like they doubled down yeah. on being sh- shitty a little bit. <laughs> this franchise said, we good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, it, you know, if it ain't good. broke. Don't fix but it. But sorry, after we see Vroom Vroom drive by vamp, then you drastically, yeah. drastically. Hard, hard shift. Hard right turn. Yeah. Into a meadow. Oh, my God. Beautiful field of flowers. And you're watching Edward Lila, Lila. and Bella make out. Baby's breath. Baby's breath. You're trying to guess what flower it is? Yeah. yeah. If anyone knows. Um... Watching Edward and Bella make out, mm. it, it makes me deeply uncomfortable, and I don't know why. I want to feel horny for them, and mm-hmm. I just don't. It, it gives me the energy of uh, teens in the back of a movie theater playing tonsil hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do it's, not care for it. It's giving it's, fish. Like, they don't use a lot of tongue, which yeah. is kind of a movie trick where you're supposed to use a lot of mouth. Yeah. Um, it um, does. <clears throat> they, it, they kiss like they aren't literally in love yeah. in this falling in love in right. their life. Their chemistry is very stale. Um, it does feel like to uh, a kid playing with Barbie dolls, <laughs> like making them kiss each other. But one of the Barbie dolls, their faces is literally kind of faded a little yeah. bit because of from continuous use or whatever. I heard someone call Edward Cullen shovel face and I can't unsee <laughs> yeah. his face looking Some, like a shovel. Sometimes draw lines are too sharp. Ooh. You think? Wow, that's yeah, a problem yeah, yeah, I'd like yeah, yeah, to yeah. have. I yeah. got two chins. Because even even <laughs> Rob Pattinson, when he was the Batman, um, the Batman. Was a sharp was, face. Yeah, yeah, he had a sharp face, but it was like less so, mm. almost. Something okay. Something weirded me out about the the leads in this movie, Kristen. I almost called her Kristen Wig. Kristen oh, Stewart was wearing not. a wiggy wig. Yeah, oh, she was wearing. She a had huge extensions wig. for days. I don't understand what they did to her because like her hair was like. Her ear was drowning in hair. Yeah. We, Zach was it like a- Goofy's fat ass last night and said, is it just me or does Kristen Stewart have so much hair? So and we much all hair. ignored it. Yeah. <laughs> because because, because we, we didn't know like, how to, what? we hadn't watched the movie yet and we didn't know what was going on. My theory on. is because her head is so tiny that like yeah. her hair just looks huge. But I think they were just trying to go for voluptuous. Uh, I was I was thinking that she was on another film and they wanted to just have her in a different hairstyle for mm. Twilight. It just, the, there's guess. something about her hair that confused me and kind of scared me they feminize the shit out of kristen stewart for these movies like you don't see her be looking like that at all ever again no she's a badass yeah she she revolted hard the other way yeah good for her man yeah uh something controversial oh oh. i think that edward cullen (gasps) is not hot in this movie (gasps) i don't think he's hot at all i don't think he's hot in any of the movies how fucking dare you i know i know i don't think he's hot i think he has a box face I think he has shovel a face, face of a box. Yeah, the shovel she face is there. I think it's it's his his. I'm in no disrespect to shovels? Rob Pattinson oh. and shovels. Rob Pattinson, <laughs> Rob Pattinson, hot. hot. But Edward Cullen, not, not so not much. Hot. Not hot. Yeah. And I think it's the fucking pale. He's it, too goddamn he's pale. Too right, be careful pale. There. <laughs> okay, you're not pale. Uh, you're not pale. Look at me in my face. And you're say, not pale. You've got color. He's an actor. You've got pale. He's you're, a professional actor on television. Derek, we're both wearing 10 pounds of makeup. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just to look like this. Oh, my God. No, but I think you're right. It, it's the it's the red eyes. Yeah. It's the. I mean, it's unnatural. It's yeah. the pale. It's the, the talking like this. Yeah. 
also, he also got a little bit more <laughs> bitchy. This he's bitchy. He's, a, he's been a no. little. He's been a little fucking bitch. He's been dog. strong and stoic. No. The last two. No. These, I think this one's no. the first time we get cuck all it. Cuckold it. Cuckolin. Cuckold it. We get Edward cuckolin because this boy's a cuck. Tell me and more. He likes uh-huh. it. This is. This, this is the dick cock. measuring contest between yeah. Jacob and Edward. For this two hours. whole movie, they are going, my dick is bigger. And he goes, no, oh, look at my fucking cock. And then he goes, yeah, pull out my big schlong. Big and, it's, and, and Bella's just like. I got a like, doggy schlong. Guys, what the fuck? I'm right here. And there's something about the quick, way Edward. Quick time out. Oh. Um, yeah, what, if, you could, if you could live forever mm-hmm. wouldn't you just go around like sampling dicks for like the rest of your days why would you marry that would get old he's one... been around for a thousand years no, 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 more. But, but like she's <laughs> she's trying to get married and become a vampire so <sighs> she can live forever she doesn't want to get married so you're saying edward cullen yeah should go around sampling dicks forever i'm saying um bella swan should Become a vampire so that she can go around sampling. That's what dick. she's trying to do. She doesn't want to get married. Edward wants to get married. Yeah, but she's gonna be with him for the rest of her life. You know how strong that shit is when you're in high school and you think you're in love. Yeah, and, you're yeah. and then she's like, gonna fucking. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, this was a huge mistake. Can yeah. somebody please uh, cut my ice head off? Imagine a, a decision you made in high school following you around for the rest of your for fucking a thousand life. years. It's like you your regrettable date? tattoo, but you're married to it. Yeah, oh. it's disgusting. I get no. I'm not turned on by him in this film. No, no, no. As no. someone with chest hair, I don't enjoy the way that his tufts out. Yeah. It just kind of... Like out of someone the, blew it on his chest. Out, out of his V-neck. It just is a... Yeah. Um, I don't... Also, talking about the wig department, Edward's gross-ass mutton chop sideburns, what did they do to my boy? They just something went down this, this, this season on Twilight. Yeah. Something, something, something happened. Something, something happened. They said, we're cutting his <laughs> hair budget. Yeah. We're going to blow Chester on that him is, like dandelion That flower. is so fucking weird because it's, the, it's one of the biggest franchises of our day. Well, of here's our what time. I think happened. They go, Jacob has abs now. He's uh-huh. hot as hell. We need to make this a realistic oh. love triangle. And yeah. everyone goes, well, uh, no, actually, we like... Bella and Edward together. Okay, how can we push them over to Jacob? Well, he's going to not ask for consent at all. Ever. Oh, my God. He's going to be no. really borderline creepy and, yeah. like, super aggressive. Does that help? No, Pushing not really cases. helping. Maybe we make Edward less hot. I think that's what they did oh. because, I swear to God, there was five or six situations where... Edward can hear Jacob's thoughts. So yeah. he knows this little pervy perv wants my bitch. <laughs> and he said, you will not make my bitch your bitch because in dog world, that's literally a different thing. <laughs> and there are so many times where Edward gives him just a little tease, just a little taste. All right, you can cuddle with my girl. All right, you can carry her up this hill with your big arms. Yeah. Okay, you can drive her to this thing. Yeah. Okay, you can babysit her for a while. He likes... You- Oh. Watching Jacob. Okay, we can we can have a thruffle. Yeah, like, that's what it you feels just like. told us the name of this. Is it cucking or is it something else? It's where you like. Oh, the the, ba- the bear and the 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 oh the Kelsey, bull bullying the bull. The bull. Kelsey Jacob's yelled bull. at us over text for not knowing like all of these crazy <laughs> sex porn terms. And sex terms. But this is someone who likes to be in. Embarrassed by watching someone That's else. That's cucking. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So then, in this instance, Jacob would be the bull. The bull in this. And the bull is someone who comes who in, gets in off to get on, on the hot wife. Yeah. The hot wife. So and then let me. Okay. Let's say this clearly. <laughs> so the the cuck uh-huh. yeah. is the man uh-huh. who wants to watch you uh-huh. bang his girl. Hot wife. The hot wife, yep. which is Bella. Uh-huh. And so the, so so Edward is a cuck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you said that so. I mean, we this found is, the title. We, we found, found the title. title right That's there. what I was going to say. Edward title is episode. a cock. Episode 100. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. our TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Bella <laughs> would be what we call a hot wife. And the hot wife kind of wants to get passed back and forth. Yeah, she wants, she's a cum dumpster. <laughs> You're cutting that. Please don't cut it. It's just important to the detail. Jesus Christ. It's at Kelsey for you, episode 100. Mm-hmm. I'll keep it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Wow, 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 it only wow. took 100 episodes, Guilty Horse. <laughs> and then the bull, uh-huh. yeah. Jacob, you may think of him as a werewolf. He's a bull. He's a, a bull. stud, if you will. And the bull 
is the person that comes into the relationship and says, I'm going to fuck your wife. He literally yeah. comes into the relationship. Yeah, he does. <laughs> so that's your little bit of uh, information for the day. Kelsey yeah. Sex Corner. Kelsey is on an app that has people identifying by those terms. Yeah. And it confused oh, us deeply. Oh, you fucking, what are you, fucking pilgrim boy? You just, you're yeah. sexless, we're, fucking we're monogamous good, We're good shit. Christian boys yeah, that talk right. in this franchise. What that's right. Fucking the only one in my bedroom is me. Me, my wife, and Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that rhyme the, so well? Me, my Holy wife, Spirit. and Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> I don't dare take okay, off so my anyway. clothes without Jesus watching. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Love it. All right, where do we move oh, on Oh, wait, to? you got it. We, the, my favorite, one of my biggest pleasures about this movie is we finally get to hear what imprinting is. It is oh a God. romantic ass scene. Oh my God. I kind of super freaking loved it. Yeah. I was kind of Is it dri- because is it because of the view and the 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 scape? Or is that was is that when everything happened? No, 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 no. He's in they're in a barn. I don't oh. know. Call me crazy. I was drip dropping for, for Jakey in that scene. Yeah, he's a he's a good actor. I was I was moist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was, I was moist the, in the, the, barn. the the booty hole was moist. <laughs> I was I was I was I was like he's a little romantic man. You know yeah. what it is? It's because the idea of imprinting makes it sound so animalistic. Yeah. Like, I don't have a choice either in this, Bella. You think I want to imprint on you? It's my animal in nature. Can you explain it? I wish I had the quote. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, what is imprinting? It's in the wolf world, in okay. the wolf community, the werewolf. Community. When they're born, they will imprint on someone, which basically means like you're connected with them at a cellular DNA level, and you cannot be with anybody else for the rest of your days. It's oh. like finding literally your other half, your puzzle piece. Okay. Is Stephanie so Meyer just like horned up? Oh my God. She was like, what's she, the most I, consensually <laughs> non-consenting way to say yeah. we have to fuck? Yeah. I um, And I'll get into this later, but I think she's just a, a preacher's kid or yeah. like a very yeah. Christian mm. young lady and wanted to make something that was close to, you know, See, if everyone voted democratically, we wouldn't have Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> I have the imprinting speech. Okay. okay thanks. I do my best, Taylor Lautner. <laughs> imprinting on someone is like like when you see her. Everything changes. All of a sudden, it's not gravity holding you to the planet. It's her. Nothing else matters. You would do anything. Be anything. For her. Oh, my God. I am sorry. That is a hot-ass speech. I don't know. I think it's just describing the first time you get a boner. Yeah. Yeah. And that's hot. That's hot. I mean, that's a that's what we all, all of our boys go through. So it yeah. makes sense that why we would think it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> do, Rick, do you know? I Don't spoil yeah, it. Yeah, please. Do you know? He imprints on the baby? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's I just disgusting. wanted to check to yeah. see if, because like we were led to believe that Jacob can't fucking help himself. He's going to be in love with Bella because he's imprinted no, on her. No, he's imprinted. But but it's, the baby. he imprinted on her fallopian tube. It's so fucking weird. That's so weird. That's such a weird take. I can't wait to get that. That's for the next yeah. movie, so yeah. I just had to drop that knowledge in there. Uh, uh, team Edward, Team Jacob, uh, tale as old as time, Yankees, Red Sox, yeah. you know, whatever. It's, it's kind of yeah. one of the big rivalries. In this film, Jacob is so much hotter. Yeah. yeah it's, not even better, it's not even the close. The ads they could run. For Levi's in this movie. Yeah. There are jeans and jean shorts everywhere you it look. Yeah. Cut and they off. aren't even the good ones. They're no. the ones that are like almost at your knees. Yeah. Thrift store. Yeah. Thrift, thrift store, store jean, jean shorts. Jean wow, shorts. Say that five times fast. Thrift, thrift store, store jean, jean shorts. shorts. Thrift store jean shorts. Thrift store jean shorts. Thrift store jean shorts. Thrift store jean shorts. Damn. I love the little pack of uh, doggy boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his little, his little pack. Pile. Yeah, his little gang is is really fun. Yeah. Wearing jorts, wearing yeah. no shirts, yeah. jogging around, just covered in highlighter. Like what glitter gloss has yeah. been? Body oil is. Been oh, soaked well, upon they them. they had to spray paint the abs on. Oh, and that's the definition. Out. Yeah. You know who else was wearing jean shorts? Mm. My favorite scene in the movie. We get to meet Bella's mom. Oh my yeah. god. I. She is serving up. Florida. Florida realness. Stop it. She is Stop Florida. It. What are, what are we watching? Magic Mike again? Yeah, God, I wish. <laughs> she is fully retired, living, serving Margaritaville <laughs> realness. Oh yeah. I can smell the daiquiris oh, off my the screen. God. She's like 40. She's like, I'm done. She is drunk. 
She's the finest single lady at the Shrimp Coast, oh, sipping yeah, on a hurricane. Absolutely. Uh-huh. She's got a jean, jean shorts with a, sh- a skirt <coughs> yeah. on top of it. I, oh, yeah. I swear, if they kept that scene going, she would have been like, you want to go to Bubba Gum Shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what the next you want to do something great? You want to go to Bubba Gump Shrimp? Yep. <laughs> I feel like the the end of that scene is just Bella and her mom hanging out in Florida, and it's like, well, Bella, whatever you got to do, but these immigrants are really getting. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh God! Yeah, it was giving yeah. Um, mom who had. I think the mom left, or no, 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 Bella left to go live with the dad, but the yeah. mom was like, finally. I'm free. I don't understand yeah. the scene because we I didn't meet so. the mom in the other movies, right? No. In the book, you meet them, and it's that Bella went to go live with dad while mom met a new guy and moved to Florida with him. I meet this mother, and like, because Bella speaks so highly of her mom. Oh, I miss my mom. I'm like, yo, she sucks. sucks. Yeah, I mean, but it, I feel like when you are w- with one parent, you uh, sensationalize the, the other. other. Or you're just like, man, I, I I really miss my mom. I bet she's doing really cool and dope shit rather than being in fucking Seattle but and being a cop. But she grew up with her mom. She moved to, in with her dad in the first movie. So it's not like she's really been around oh, her dad right. for that long. Okay. Oh, never so mind. So she really right. believes her mom is that bitch. I didn't know that. Wow. Mm. Have we wow, talked wow, wow. about how Charlie Swan is just the, the daddiest he's daddy a, he's that ever dealt? He could have played oh. Joel. He could have played Joel if he wanted he to. In The Last of Us. The Last of Us, yeah. Oh, with that mustache. just yeah. mm. he You notice it. he's got a beer in every scene. Oh, it's yeah. It's probably written to his contract. I cannot. Be well, it's, in it's written in every beer. police officer's contract because yeah. they suck at their jobs and they <laughs> yeah. um, and are always drunk. All cops are bastards. Yeah. But Charlie Swan can kick it. Yeah. Yeah. At least he's at least he's good looking. <laughs> yeah, except for Charlie Swan. A cab B C S K. No C K I. Make it a sticker for the sticker pack. Yeah. We got sticker packs coming. Get the eyes. I can't wait for you to see it. <laughs> Call cops bastards, but Charlie Swan can kick it. Oh my god. <laughs> but Charlie Swan can, can get, get it. it. Get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. It's fun. Um, okay, where else do you want to go? Uh, Jacob, my dude, let's talk about consent. You gotta, you gotta peel it back a little bit, man. But also, he's a dog, and dogs hump everything. Very true, and they imprint. Yeah, but yeah, he, the, the, that whole scene, um, was really bad. It was uncomfortable. That was really bad. That made me uncomfortable, too, because he was like, you know you want this. You know, Bible. it, it, honestly, if... This was the exact same dialogue in a dark room. Nothing beautiful about this. No. This is very awful. But this Derek, is absolutely a, a horror You scene. have to put yourself in his position. No. <laughs> he thinks the girl he loves uh-huh. is going to become a vampire, and he's got to do a, That's what he's kiss, giving her unwanted kisses for. He says... What can I do to stop this dumb bitch from making <laughs> the worst decision of her life? She is about to live forever. I She's like- going to live forever. And all she needs to do to potentially stop that is touch my little lippies. No, what no, I love what is that for you-, you, Kelsey, to try and uh, forgive non-consensual kissing is that you took on a 1950s accent. Yes. Well, Garrick, why don't you do that? She <laughs> sounded like a fucking <laughs> carnival barker. <laughs> Like, I think it was because, you know, in the 1950s, all yeah, of that shit was it, uh, normal. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I I think that um, if he, I mean, I don't know if he could have finessed it or whatever, <laughs> but it was just bad. It was not, it was, it was bad in like an incel way. Oh, it was yeah. like no game, none, no, not knowing how to approach a woman at all. It and teaches like women bad soul. It it teaches both men and women bad lessons. Yeah, it tell it rewards the pushiness and romanticizes the pushiness. Okay, but I'm gonna say something controversial. Uh oh, <laughs> that's an agreeable woman. You were into it. Was it a hot kiss? <laughs> I know. I was waiting for Miles to press whatever he was gonna press. I'm waiting, and then after you say it, Bella led him on. Oh wow! Bella oh. literally pulled out the kiss me. Later, after she was like, and that's then she's like, like yes, I love yeah. you. You know I love you. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's that. that's confusing for any young dog boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that, okay, so if that was like reverse and then he did the kiss thing, then I'd be like, oh, okay. Mm. So this is, you know, you you misread the situation. Well, and also they'll he, fuck the movie for even suggesting that the first non-consensual kiss worked. Because yeah, the first non-consensual, right, exactly. the first time Jacob like, 
forces himself onto her. She uh, pulls off and then punches him in the face and breaks her hand, which was my favorite yeah. scene yeah. in the movie. Absolutely. So good. And the scene after it when he uh, references it, it was really funny. And she broke her hand against yeah, her yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, but I, then, like, Bella starts to actually be like, maybe I do love Jacob. I don't no, know. She's and she's so no, she's loved Jacob from the day she saw him. That's fair. In because, his jorts. Yeah. Once he, uh, in his ponytail. Once he cut his hair and they're like, oh, my God, he's a baddie. Yeah. Like, yeah. That black crew neck. I'm telling you, boys, you want to just drip, drip a girl? You just wear a black crew neck and stand in the rain and it's that, game that over. That works if you're light skinned. If you're dark skin, you have to wear a white. <laughs> I literally imagine. Oh, you have to wear a white shirt. okay, that's to, right. In a, my brain, I just switched from black to white, and then and it it does yeah, look it's nice. A contrast. Okay, sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Garrick wore like this hot ass cream suit to my wedding, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky Smith came out. That Ricky, day. Ricky Smith. Ricky Smith knew what he was doing. He had fucking. Cowboy boots yeah, on, y'all. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. Mexico. In fucking Mexico. I was looking. Cowboy boots. I was looking for spurs. I wanted to oh put spurs God. on the boots. <laughs> but they don't sell those anymore. That's awesome. Yeah, no, those, get those on a plane. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, something that I love about this movie and, and like genuinely love, and I think it's why it's so many people's comfort film and maybe comfort franchise. This movie doesn't feel like a sequel. It almost doesn't even feel like a movie. It feels like you're getting plopped in to a dating simulator RPG. Yes. yes. The when the movie it's starts, the Sims. Yeah, yeah, you're like catching up with your friends. Yeah, and like Anna Kendrick is there again for no reason. Val Victorian. Like, oh my god, what? Bella. I'm in a vampire movie. Like yeah. she's just kicking it. Like you hang out with your friends from the first movie. Every time they introduce a new character, it's like this is Wiley. He's a rascally yeah. little fella. Come here. Yeah. Like. <laughs> It's just like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wiley. I don't know. I don't All know right. the name of anybody. Now that now that we're getting to the friends, it's just just a, a light little tangent. Jasper uh -huh. fought in the Confederate War <laughs> on the side of the Confederacy. <laughs> Fuck this movie. I I was so I was so mad when that happened. I was like. Why on earth would you add this into the move? I was living, <laughs> oh, right? Like so I'm, I'm, God, you brought it up. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That take that took me out of it for the rest of the film. Of course. It this is movie so is 95% flashbacks. And we get nobody asked for, but we get the backstory of all our little, all, vampy, all the little vampire vampy fam. people. And he just casually says, I was in the Texas Cavalry. Yeah. And they don't address that he was fighting for slave owners. Oh. No. Weird At choice. Yeah. It's a choice. It's a it's a decision. Yeah. And again, going back to I'm 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 guessing that this is in the books, but I'm I'm going back to Stephanie Myers oh. being a full <laughs> red-blooded Christian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um but it, it's just it, again when we uh finish our like and they have my spiel about it, but they have no introspection about this. No. It is a detail that is just left out there, yeah. floating in the ether. And now the story is going to move on. But just so you know where it's taking place, Confederacy. Confederacy. They because also. I thought, I thought that was a setup to get us to not like Jasper. Yeah. I thought it was just like, a, oh, cool. This is a, he's going to obviously betray them mm -hmm. for a second, and then I think the next scene they're talking about Jasper like he's a, the best person. Like the one who who no, taught you know us what how happened? to fight. Yeah. <laughs> what happens is then there's like, and then I didn't know what if I was going to be able to redeem myself. And then his girlfriend comes like, and then I found you. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and then we fell in love, and now you're not a confederate anymore. The yeah. end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this vampire can see everything, but she can't see her own white privilege. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God. It's just it's uh. just wild. Jasper. Jasper fighting on the side of the Confeder Confederacy while also being against the only Native Americans that he can yeah. see. <laughs> Come on. <Yeah. laughs> the only people of color in the film. That's the a big old yike. You know what? I'm Team Jacob. I yeah. decided. Team Jacob. I'm Team Jacob. Oh, hard, they hard hard also switch. do a flashback of how the vampires okay. and, yeah. and the, the and wolf met. people start fighting. Yeah. And it's like... It's basically a colonizer story. Yeah. Yeah. This, this movie it, it teaches... People of color to accept the people that massacred them. Yeah, it's a weird <laughs> thing. It's yeah. a weird like tro not even a trope, but like a weird line to to adjust towards. Where I 
don't like you. I don't like you on my land. I don't like you um, like being around me or in my vicinity. You're sucking and blood of, around my of, people. Around my people. I'm <laughs> yeah. not doing anything. <laughs> I'm just chilling on my reservation. And then this mo this girl is coming over and saying like, the oh, you should, you should actually like <sighs> the people that killed your people. Like they're actually really <laughs> nice if you really get to know them. I was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They fuck keep them. referring to them as the cold ones, and I just imagine a bottle of beer yeah. on ice. <laughs> like, around. Yeah, is, is Bella Swan one. trying to All Lives Matter us? She <laughs> is All Lives Mattering us. <laughs> this <laughs> Twilight, All Lives Matter. That's the title. <laughs> All Lives Matter, even those who have no soul. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's, it's so Man. weird. Uh, so we get another flashback yeah. that is <laughs> equally so many, awful. So oh my god! It is. It is. God, talk about a scene that just I wish wasn't in the canon. And it, yeah. it again doesn't give us any context. No. To make you, it kind of decides to go. That's why she's such there's, a cunt. There, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just some some weird. Weird, like it was like value with Christian value. I stuff. think I like, hate this movie. The yeah, it was like it. gets she she does gets murder that. all the. No, she gets she gets um she's out in a few I guess or like after she gets essayed. Well, let's um, let's paint the lead up. I'm, I'm sorry if this is triggering to t even discuss. Yeah, trigger warning. It's just. Yeah. Let, let's paint this picture because Please. we have the actress Nikki Reed. Yeah, I don't know her name in the movie. Uh, she is telling this flashback. She's, she's in love. It's giving Bridgerton. It's romantic. <laughs> she's getting courted. She's like, oh my God, wow, how could life be better? And then she's walking home and she sees the love of her life yeah. drinking with the boys. With, with the, the boys. boys. You know it. And the man says, Look let me Look rip this. your clothes off in yeah. front of all my friends yeah. and, and have a say and kill you. Yeah. yeah. And then who finds her? She's um, left dead in the street. It's, it's Carlisle. The, but already Car yeah. to pause right there. What an awful scene that we had yeah, to watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're it's ripping wild. her clothes off. Mm -hmm. They're describing this. It, and bad. they don't, they don't, and, and I think it's because these are book adaptations where no, in the book you're getting so much more backstory. You're getting so much more detail. Not to say that it does it justice or explains why we have um, like a Confederate soldier, but I'm sure they're, they were saying people are going to want to know their backstories. They want to know where they came from. Yeah, I'm failing to find world. the thematic connection. Yeah. Right? That's no, the if you thought this movie had thematic connection, I got news for you, pal. I think, I think in the book, it serves a lot more um, because then you're just like, oh, this is exactly why this person doesn't trust humanity as a whole and they're just like an isolating yeah. uh, vampire rather than right here in this movie this is literally just her talking uh for to, to excuse and validate one moment of her walking out of the room while bella is there it's just the like thing, why are you so mean the, the thing that this movie continues to do is warn bella how bad being a vampire is yeah she says i want to be a vampire somebody turn me and they're all going you don't want to do this. Yeah. We're telling Why you. Not? You think it's great. You think you're in love. And then you're going to do it. And then your life, you live forever. You live to see the the changing of the tides of the world. It's not all that you think it's cracked up to be. And then you, you're insatiable with blood. You got to suck blood for the rest of your life. You yeah. know what Bella's saying? I want, I want it. Yeah. I want that. I want yeah. it. She's an impetulant child. Yeah, I think she, she really does want to murder in general. It's um, good point. Yeah. It's an excuse to murder. Wants, I think she wants to kill. <laughs> Saying it like that is. I, so I think she wants to kill. I think she wants, I think to, she kill. wants to murder. Yeah. Speaking of murder, did you notice that like everyone in this movie, the theme? I'll tell you what the thematic connection is. Everyone wants Bella. She is the hottest ticket item out there on the streets. Yeah, because everybody wants a pure lily white version. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Edward Congratulations. Wants her. Jacob wants her. Her mom and dad want to keep her around. Uh, the Volturi want her. Victoria, Victoria wants her. her. Everybody wants Bella. And we didn't Bella meet any other Confederate uh, soldiers, but I bet they wanted her. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm exactly. pretty sure they did. Yeah, yeah it's, sure that's did. The, th the theme of the movie is Bella's like, I don't want attention. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, she does. Backing up to Jasper, he just <laughs> killed a kid. He, he <laughs> killed a kid on screen. He choked out a kid on screen like fucking Jody and Baby Boy. Oh my <laughs> he just God. Just held him in a fucking headlock. 
Anyway, sorry. But he chokes him out and says, go to sleep, young blood. Go to sleep, <laughs> young blood. It's initiation, <laughs> bitch. Blood. Go to sleep, young blood. A, an incredible detail that this film introduces is that uh, baby vampires, yeah. those who are newly turned, are the strongest. Yes. And so Victoria is raising an army of baby vampires. Oh, my God. Yeah. Which, what a silly, silly choice. Bryce Dallas Howard! He wasn't in this. That's Victoria! No, it fucking wasn't. Yes, it fucking is! No, it wasn't. Are you out of your gourd? Do, can you not see with your two eyeballs? No, it wasn't. With your four eyes. You've got four, Zachary. That's... It's Bryce Dallas. You're being offensive. All three of them are, are... Googling on their There's phones no right way. now because they don't believe me. I don't believe you. She that has is... the most recognizable face You're in all You're wrong. Hollywood. That is her. No, it's fucking her. No, it's... I Proving Zachary wrong. Wait, 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 what? This I'm movie's right. awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's fucking sick. Bryce Dallas Howard. Bryce Dallas Howard. Ooh, is Victoria fucking is bad. Oh my thick. god. She is so goddamn thick. It's weird. Yeah. It's mm. weird. Did you know that they had to they had to they Photoshop her ass her. out of just Jurassic Park? <laughs> because she was too yeah, thick. That's right. That is the greatest also, compliment I'm that anybody <laughs> could uh play uh whatever. A problem hey, I wish anyone I had. else. Yeah, so it's a good problem. I am my jaws dropped. I had yeah. no idea that was Bryce Dallas I Howard. I think I might be wrong on this. I think they recasted Victoria for this one. They did. I don't think she was they the did. original Victoria. They did. They went, let's get some titties up in here. <laughs> yeah, let's get a better, yeah, let's get a really good actress. Let's get a baddie. Because uh, she's not in the other ones. <gasps> no. Something that confused me is that this movie introduces also that when you judo chop a, a vampire, oh, yeah. they, they shatter like porcelain. Yeah, ice. apparently. Blocks of ice. I think that that's, I, I think that was the, the, Fruit the biggest pleasure for me because scientifically, <laughs> if you are made of, if you don't have blood coursing through your veins you but you still walk around you would probably shatter like ice if you got I hit feel stupid they i feel didn't make that connection yeah. So delicate. Yeah. yeah um and it also makes sense why they would glisten in the sun even though it doesn't make sense that vampires that can be melt. in the sun in the first place because i mean yeah you would melt probably yeah. um but yeah uh that that all tracks I don't think that, <laughs> that was such a sigh <laughs> yeah i know the science behind that really just got me <laughs> just, just like they, they cracked like little chocolate eggshells yeah they like did. little candies it's so funny too because sometimes they'll just be fighting and punching like oh, yeah. crazy and then other times they just yeah. 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 they for for them to be as strong as uh they put them out to be or made them out to be uh they, they went down pretty easily. Young bloods are messy. They're strong, but they don't know what they're doing. So you, what a, a pleasure of mine in this film is you finally get to see the doggy boys and oh, the like. bat boys come together. Oh, I really loved that. In that a training cool. montage. Yeah. Oh, I loved that. And what are the two most important things about fighting the vo the the Victoria you, young bloods? You gotta be unpredictable. Yep. You can't. Go for the obvious kill. I can't go for the obvious kill, and I forget what the first one is. Well, I do bet. I mean, strong. look, if you were a fan and you're there opening night and you yeah. finally see the Wolves and the Team Jacob and the Team Edward come together, oh, it's like, man. it's like, yeah. again, Marvel team up. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. No, I do, I do feel bad uh, ripping on this movie knowing that it was of a different time, <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, also at the same time, they did do that entire fight scene with all of them in the same field where they played baseball. Yes. <laughs> so that Correct. was also... They always fight in fields in they this always, franchise. They love a field. Yeah, they it, love a field surrounded by trees. It was the quickest fight scene for the movie to kind of have its premise be around Victoria's coming with her young bloods. It's they're gonna be Alice sees a vision of them. They're gonna be here in four days. Which mathematically, yeah. have you seen how fast they run? Mm. That just yeah. doesn't really check doesn't. out. But they get there, and here's the big moment. They say you you can't be predictable. Don't go for the obvious kill. And what do they do? They run directly at each other <laughs> for about a minute. Yeah, they do. And then it's over. And it's over. That boys, only, wolf boys win. The only one that wasn't obvious is when I, I'm guessing it was Jasper threw one in the air and then a wolf that came was, in mm. and bit him in half. I Dick was like, that fuck. was sick. Yeah, He's I a big enjoyed wolf. that. I loved watching a big wolf yeah. munch down, down a on a little baby dog. vampire. Yeah. yeah. And uh, while all of this is happening, we got Brokeback Mountain. 
up with oh, the yeah. snow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. We get I the hottest scene. Loved this scene. That was a good scene. So much. They are in a snowstorm. Bella, her teeth are chattering. <laughs> She's so cold. <laughs> 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 I'm in a sleeping bag oh, with did, my did. ice cold boyfriend. He's Ed, a popsicle. <laughs> Edward can't help with his cold ass, yeah. bony ass, We've cuck ass there. body. We've Idiot. all been there under the sheets and mm. your boyfriend comes up behind you with his cold ass toes. It makes you jump cold, for them. Cold ass fucking toes. Get the fuck off me. Cold ass fucking toes. Or they try and come around you and you're like, ah, don't touch me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like my nightmare. <laughs> okay. What would what would help? A jacuzzi boy. A little wolf man. A lava Never boy. gets cold. And I, I think I quoted this at the beginning. It's my favorite line of the movie. I could feel the squeals and screams in the audience Angels. all these years later, yeah. like re still reverberating and yeah. echoing through the through the halls of Jacob wanting to cuddle with her. And Edward's like, don't you freaking dare. And he goes, let's face it. I am hotter than you. <laughs> ah, and nice. it's like, oh, nice. he's talking about his skin, but he's also talking about how sexy he is. Yeah, we got him. And there's this moment where he goes like, watch where you put your hands or something like that. Mm. And I'm like, what? His hands ain't what you got to worry about. Right, 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 right. <laughs> he well, about to so, get him sleeping back with Yeah, <laughs> his, his schmied is at his waist. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob is cuddling, yeah. spooning Bella, uh -huh. bringing her back, and then staring eyes just directly at Edward. Yes. Yeah. And they're locked in eye contact. Yes. And we know, mm -hmm. and Edward says and reminds us that he can read Jacob's thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do you think? Is Jacob's thoughts just like, shmeet, 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 It's a song. It's a song just like that. Like, is he just like, wee Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Pee pee go, yay, yay. Right, right. Like, what is he saying in his ass? Feels good against my drunk. Somebody needs to animate that. Somebody needs to animate Jacob's stare and Zach's voice going, which also I like how you were doing that song to a Christmas. It was snowy. <laughs> like, oh my God. To a Christmas beat and then. <laughs> oh go, my God. Pee pee go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo. I feel a jiggle in my balls. <laughs> I don't know. In this situation, I very easily could have seen. A cuck happened. I could yeah. have seen a three way. I could have seen them decide to like go poly. There was a yeah. lot happening in that little. I thought tent. it was going to be like a throuple thing. How, how much Edward Jacob porn do you think is out there? Oh, too much. Yeah, not enough. Who do you think does Ops? what? Well, he's a dog, so yeah, I think he's he's in, got a top. He's in the back. Do you think Edward? Okay, yeah. Uh, but I, Edward I also we, just looks like a bottom the, bitch. If they're doing the Eiffel Tower situation, I think Eiffel. Tower. Is that not it? No, I know. It's just very funny. Oh. I think that <laughs> it's funny. I, can I drop another Kelsey sex corner question? Okay. I had heard something on the interwebs that said about how we- This is not related to the movie. Not at all. Great. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Sweets were talking about sexy time. How we as a society have always referred to sexual intercourse from a male's perspective, right? Yep. Like we fucked her. I got fucked. There was penetration. But what if we had switched it to come from the the, the, the vulva owner perspective mm -hmm. and we would say stuff like we enrobed or we engulfed. Because that's so much more boring. <laughs> that sounds so scientific. We engulfed. We engulfed. engulfed is kind of yeah. Fun. I love I was, the idea of we engulfed. I was uh, engulfed. We, sw we got swallowed last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We yeah, swallowed. Yeah. I swallowed. We absorbed. Yes. Yeah, I absorbed that. It yes. it does sound like nope, <laughs> like the <laughs> monster is yeah. nope. Wait, or... I haven't seen it yet. Oh, don't okay. tell me. All right, we got to talk about Volturi. Okay, here they come. Uh, we end the movie. Fucking you think. Italians. <laughs> then the Italians they got here on their it's me, Ella Fanning, <laughs> <laughs> and they come out of the woods like, oh hey y'all. Heard there was a fight. <laughs> we didn't get the invite. Ooh. No one sent us the group text. And they come out of the woods and they're like, hey, why is that human still a human? And who's that little girl? Go kill her. They kill another child on screen. Loved that. Um, and <laughs> uh, basically, Elle Fanning just establishes, oh, that's cute. You guys got rid of Victoria and the Youngbloods. You got a way bigger gang Elle? to worry about. I thought it was Dakota. 
it's you're right, fully it is. Dakota. It is. And yeah. how dare you sit here and not correct me earlier? <laughs> well, I know you said L a long time yeah, ago, and, we and I was it. like, I'm pretty sure it's Dakota. The people in my notes say Dakota. Yeah, and I know the difference between the fannings. Yeah, yeah, oh, you big time. I know the difference. Well, we yeah. watched Push with Dakota herself. Yeah, I, and Zach wasn't a fan, and I stand the test of time to say that she is one of the one of the greats. One of the greats. Yeah. For the world. Did you see that Britney Murphy movie with her as a child? Jersey Girl. Yeah, it's great. Um, I don't think that we're giving enough attention to the fact that the only, one of the driving plots in this movie is that Edward cannot have sex with Bella because he will tear her oh, apart. He will tear her apart. We have is, uh, brag is, much? She yeah, tries. She's like, is for the love of God, yeah. please have sex with me. Also, and he says... I want to marry you first. Yeah, going back to the Christian values of it all. Oh my he's God. Just like, yeah, I think now's the time. Yeah, Go now's off. the time. Okay, I think that this movie is religious propaganda at its, <laughs> at its like highest and most destructive form. Yeah. For <laughs> one, if you are Native American, you should shut up and accept the fact that we massacred your people and we should be friends. And now you Two, have to fight for yeah. us. We have to love people who are from the Confederacy because they teach us how to fight. <laughs> Three, if you have sex before you're married, you will die. Yeah. <laughs> you will die. You'll you will get murdered. Be torn apart. You will get torn apart. Your and, body will and being a virgin explode. is the most valuable thing on the planet and that's why everybody is after we you. We made it up. We made up virginity. We made it up. Yeah. We made up the concept, the idea, the yeah. preciousness of it all. The fact that she talks about it with Charlie, I don't even want to fucking go to that right. awkward conversation. <laughs> they have, she has a, a sex talk with her dad and it's like, don't worry, dad, I'm a virgin. Oh Very next God. scene, she's like, Edward, I think I want to fuck right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's and do it. Just nothing try. gets you horny like a talk with daddy. The, yeah. the most disgusting <laughs> ring. Especially if it's that one. That engagement ring. Holy shit, did we not talk about this? Throw it in the trash. Yeah. It is the Disgusting. ugliest ring. Disgusting. If you have cinema warning, history. if you have tryptophobia, don't look at it. Also, you live in a fucking clear glass mansion yeah. in the woods. Yeah. You're telling me you didn't go get a nice little little, little rock? Sorry. Not even not even that. You've been living for a thousand years. Mm. You don't have a thousand years worth of savings? Yeah. You don't ha you've been living for a thousand years? You didn't invent diamonds? You didn't yeah. invent diamonds? It it Why don't you just wild. bury coal and wait? And wait. Just yeah. fucking yeah. wait. That would have been more, more romantic. I buried this a thousand years ago knowing that one day I would find my true love for the diamond. It is a giant oval that looks, it has the body of a cockroach. <laughs> I want you to imagine a cockroach yeah. with not a diamond, but a bunch of little dots on it. And it's it is beat, the, like someone beat it. It is the, ladies, if your man's a vampire and busts out a ring like this, yeah. you run. You run, him. you get out you of leave. there. You leave. You get the fuck out of there. But vampires are very fast as we know, so. Yeah, yeah, he'll catch you. But, I mean, he'll, like, track you because he doesn't need to sleep, and then he'll just be in your room waiting for you when you wake up. Yeah. This is you. <laughs> this movie, th this whole franchise is you, and they changed it. It li Literally one small shift of a character uh, having an inner monologue makes it um, a stalker fantasy. That checks out. Uh, have you watched the new season? Not uh, yet. Y'all ready for some fun facts? Fun facts with sex back. Let's do it. Let me turn my back to the audience. <laughs> um, Does anyone know why I sing that song? No. I sing it every week. I just think you made it up. I did, but do we not know why? What do you mean why? You don't apply reason to the things that you do. <laughs> with Zach's back, you just say stuff, Kelsey. <laughs> True, and... Like the very first episode, back when we were still recording at the very first try office, you came in after having a really bad back day and you were, you kept being like, I'm back. And then you'd be like, <laughs> my back. And I'd be like, oh, that's stupid. And then oh, wow. we were like, uh, Zach's facts with Zach's back. Yeah. I remember Fun that. facts with Zach's back. Oh my god! And like, I think all of you forgot about no, that. No, I just I, every time you sing it, I was just like, oh, it's because of the bad back. Yeah, but I don't know when it was. You also I remembered. Also it. Yes, yeah. it was like the first episode we ever recorded. Yeah, it might not even like be on. Um, every time you sing, I just go, okay, I guess that's the thing we're doing. <laughs> you've a hundred episodes in a row. You've just yeah. allowed it without any context. 
thing we're the doing. things <laughs> I get away with. I think I could be getting away with a lot more. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. I ain't, look. This is a collaborative pod. If that, if you like singing that song, I ain't gonna yeah, stop you. You singing that song? And Miles has <laughs> It makes her happy. Let her do her little. <laughs> well, makes her happy. I've been expecting Miles to make like a fun like jingle, like a drop. Oh hell yeah! But it has for the fun facts. Yeah, yeah. yeah with I'll Zach's back. I'm I'm back in my music era. Okay, sick. Hell yeah! So we love talking about alt casting. We have uh, Riley, who I had to look that up. That's Who's the Riley? guy. That's that's oh, the oh, oh. the guy that got turned and is the the leader of the baby army. He's okay. hot. Okay. What's his deal? <laughs> okay. I don't know. What's he but he was doing? almost played by. <gasps> Channing Tatum. Oh, oh man. shit! That oh, would have been yeah. a different. Been vibe. He was considered, as was t -t 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 Tom Felton. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna <laughs> say t -t -t Tucci. <laughs> oh my god, that would rule. Give it to me, Tucci. Yeah. Wait, I'm I'm sorry. We would have tried to take Tom Felton out of the Harry Potter universe. Yeah, that's wild. Absolutely not. Um, so this was directed by David Slade. Congrats. He, he I mean, this is kind of following uh, the the trend of a an indie director getting a big film. He had directed Hard Candy. Um, he's a British director, but yeah, Thirty Days of Night. So he had he had directed a vampire movie. And they're like, "Come on over, buddy," and he's like, "All right, I'm gonna make a worse vampire movie. Let's do it." Um, Heck. I will say the vampire sequences were the best of the franchise. Hell yeah, so there far, you go. I guess it's the third one. Uh, but guess who was considered to direct? Whom? D -d 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 uh, Drew Barrymore. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. She was into it, and she wanted to do it. She was among the final candidates, but, you know, they realized that she had less experience. And for Twilight, <laughs> you need someone who's going to bring the I'm goods. I'm ask a silly question. Has yeah. she directed features? You know, I also... Miles, can we get a fact check on that? <laughs> Has she directed This is features? literally fun facts. What? Drew Barrymore. I feel like she directed... Like, maybe she directed Never Been Kissed or one of those movies. Hmm. She directed Whip It. Oh, yeah. And uh, Best Coast to Our Deal. But that's it. Whip It with uh, Elliot Page. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the actor who played Jasper fought for Jasper to wear cowboy boots in the film. You fucking Confederate fuck. You bo your boy. You just that just ruined cowboy boots for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to wear them. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I bet his head spurs. Also, the scene where he gets turned reminds me of uh, a scene from Red Dead Redemption 2. So it was like, oh, whoa, it's like Red Dead. And it was like, wait a fucking second. Is he a Confederate yeah. soldier? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this must have been devastating. So Nikki Reed, most of her fight scenes in the climax were left out because the dailies came back from the lab and they were underexposed. No oh, way. No. That's crazy. And How then the shooting schedule, up? they didn't have time and the crew to reshoot her parts. That's yeah. that's cr wild. How, How did you, you fuck, fuck that, that up? up? That's what, who, crazy. Who was she playing? That uh, Our blonde vampire yeah, who had the, the horrific sister. flashback. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah, because she, she was barely in the rest of the movie and maybe that would have um, helped... That Finish scene her, yeah. helped, helped her arc a little bit. Because she was a fighter. There's so many people on a set that look at the... That's crazy. That's why that, I'm wondering if it was something in post. Like the post house fucked it up. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. No, because they, they're shooting digitally. Like what? But it's they, just like there's like a f like at least a dozen people looking at monitors. If, if at least a dozen people looking at monitors. But also like was it something in camera that fucked it up? I bet. Okay, this one's really good. <laughs> anyway. This is this is like fully wild for me. So we talked about um, the the scene. Billy Black tells the bonfire story, and we have the flashback of of uh, the cold one, the cold ones, and his tribe uh, fighting uh, the vampires for the first time. And we we meet a character named the third wife. Yes, which I don't know why she had to be the third wife. Why mm. couldn't she just be the wife? I, it's kind of a weird detail, but mm. I overlooked it. Polly Love, and love, is love. She, she is um like what is it? The chief's wife, third uh, wife in this tribe. So this is a a a native tribe that yeah. we are seeing, and they originally for that flashback were going to have Kristen Stewart play. The third wife. Oh, because it's, going it's to, foreshadowing. Yeah. Because it was seeing her. But we were going to have a bunch of native actors yeah. surrounded by Lily Ass, Kristen Stewart. And not only that, they shot. That. They shot yeah. it? They shot it. Then they switched. Thank God they switched the, her with like the most yeah. opposite. Like, thank right. God. 
Someone probably caught that. And was we like, we still mm-hmm. get it. We yeah. we don't. We I don't need to see that. I get that she's just as courageous as the third she's wife. She's literally reading Romeo and Juliet to start the film. Like it's she's asleep on the book, and it's like we get that. Like there's so much. Th- this is a lesson. This is a masterclass in how to not foreshadow things. Yeah, you're hamming it up. Well, yeah, you're giving it too obvious. You're, you're hatting on a hat. There's I, just so much literal dialogue and moments. There's one I wrote down where it's. There's something you'll want. This is talking about when Bella turns. There's something you'll want more. Something you'll kill for. Okay, subtext is very clear. Long pause. Blood. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't uh, need yeah, you know. to finish yeah. that. No, but I sentence. bet you someone, they did a test audience and someone was someone, like, what is it? What was it? What was, <laughs> well, they, yeah, they wrote down in the little, the little section, um, what didn't you understand? Um, what was the thing that you'll kill for? Oh my, like, god. oh my god. It's a movie about yeah. fucking vampires. Uh. Well, now for the 100th time, Woo! we have to wow. We have to decide is this film a guilty pleasure? Uh no. Nope. Pleasure. A pleasure or, or just, just plain, plain guilty? guilty. Oh, I fucked it up on No, you didn't episode. because cuz you know what? What? I whenever you're out of town or gone or sick or dying, yeah. I have to fill in for you, it's, and that is so fucking. Hard. Hard. You That's the hardest part the of the pod. Hardest way to say it. Yeah, but it's fun. Again, what, we what did, did Apple Podcasts call us? They had a great long line oh for my us, God. which we were actually pissed that we didn't think yeah. about this. I ourselves. would say that I didn't choose feel things. good about feeling guilty or something Ooh, like that. Like Ooh, that. Fe- that makes you feel good about feeling guilty. Yeah. I would argue that I didn't choose things for this show. We just started recording, they and then whatever you. we did, it, we just kept doing, and like here we Zach's are. Like Zach's back. <laughs> like Zach's back. Um, I I think this is a guilty pleasure. Um, it I, it might even just be guilty. It, it is a a movie that I understand that it's a com- I you know what no it's a guilty pleasure because it I can see how it's comforting mm. that there's something really nice about revisiting your friends and forks. But dear God, mm-hmm. dear God, yeah, this movie is yeah rough. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a pure guilt. Wow. wow. Not because I think the dialogue is cheesy. Not because I don't believe that four and five are fucking bangers and outdo this one. But I do think that this one doesn't know exactly what it wants to be. Is it an action story? Is it a love story? It was. <laughs> Is it, it was, a non consensual love yes, story? Is yeah. it an advertisement Jesus. for the Christian propaganda? Probably all the above. I just think it was a little too all over the place. There were moments where I looked up from my iPad for five seconds and I came back and I was like, where are we It's now? the middle child. It's the middle child. And, and for that, I And if you're the I middle say, child, your parents do not love you. They don't. They <laughs> don't. Well, they don't love you as much as Gosh. your brother you're and sister. You're just a little confusing. A little overlooked, a little all over the place. Yeah. A little guilty. Yeah. Um, yeah, I also would put it as a pure guilt. Because... Mm. And the only reason why this movie is watchable is because it is a part of a franchise. In the same way Damn. that y'all said um, that this is the middle child, I fully agree. Because it's just like, yeah, you have a middle child, but you don't really love him that much. Oh. Um, <laughs> shouts, shouts out to my middle child. Sister. Aren't you a middle child? I'm the youngest. Oh, right, right, right. Um, but like, yeah, I mean, that's... I'm, I'm, I'm being uh, crude for, for no reason. But I think that... That is exactly what this is. There's no other reason to watch it other than to continue the rest of the franchise, the rest of the narrative. I don't care about this movie. I was confused most mm, of the time. Yeah. Um, okay, but guys, what? wasn't it fun? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't, it wasn't fun. Like I. Okay, I, what about when Jacob gave Bella a very ugly chain neck bracelet? That she was goes, a wolf? Oh, my God. Is beautiful. He never wore it. Yeah, it that was like a I want to fuck you gift. Yeah. Um, okay. Al- Anna Kendrick's valedictorian speech. Full tears. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna look me in the eyes, both of you, and tell me that it's a guilt. I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk right out of the studio. No, I, she. That woman. Away with words. I'm gonna walk right out of here. I think there is a really, really hard line to toe when you do like these moody teen dramas, mm. and it was completely on the wrong side of things. Where it's just like it. It can be cool because of how moody it is, but sometimes it just falls flat and is like mad boring. Um, this and again, movie gave it, you a black keys needle drop, and yeah, you're gonna at the sit beginning. here, you motherfuckers. Yeah, it did. 
All right, now we're going to talk about our pleasures. These are things in media that we are enjoying. Yeah, Garrett, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Um, the my pleasure for this week is the trailer for the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It looks movie, great. Mutant Mayhem. I have been begging for them to make them actual teenagers for so long, oh. for so long. And if you watch the trailer, you can see that they are. 13 they're like they have their voices are cracking they have braces it's so fucking beautiful they're like recording shit on their phone be like oh can you please it's like blah, blah, blah. throw the throw the ninja star throw the ninja star or whatever it's so adorable and i cannot wait to watch <laughs> this fucking movie i'm so excited and of course it is in the spider-verse um the spider-verse animation style and i really love Whoa. that we're moving away from like yeah. the pixar style of things into something new and uh, shout out to Lord and Lord Miller for for changing the game in Sony Animation. Good for wow. them. Um, okay, I have one. Uh, it's a podcast, and it's pretty popular. So I won't be surprised if a lot of you have heard of it. But if you haven't, it is the Huberman Labs. It has become quickly one of the top podcasts about wellness, and it is a neuroscientist from Stanford. And he does a really good job of making really sciencey shit about health, wellness, your body, your brain, really understandable. In particular, there's one episode all about headaches and the science behind headaches. As a fellow headache girly myself, I found this information incredibly fucking interesting and eye-opening and i'm always been someone that says if i can understand if you can explain like i'm five to me i'm a visual person like break it down so i can understand it it makes me less afraid of it i yeah. think the less the more we break down the pain fear cycle the less pain we will have i recommend it dr human human labs okay this one is fucking fuego i'm oh. about to rock your little little jimmy johns over here this is a tiktok account Oh, and that. it is at unclogging underscore drains. <gasps> and oh, yeah. is, I already know him. And it is just this dude that finds these gnarly ass clogs oh. and he scrapes them and he unclogs them. And yeah. then the water goes glug, glug, glug. Yeah. And you go, oh. oh. You go, uh, give it to me, Tucci. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice. It's so unbelievably satisfying. And you'll see him unclog a clog where you're like, there's no way that's going to... Oh, my... You just you just evaporated a river. Yeah. Like yeah. that. Oh, I want to see Big this. Big fan. He's got oh. 1.7 million followers. Yeah. Nice. He comes up on my For You page so often, I'm not even following him, and I thought I was. There you go. Yeah. The future. There's one. Well, that's it, gang. That's, wow. a, that's a hundo episode. Thank you for being here. If you've been here since the beginning, or if this is the first time you're tuning in, uh, we we love we love farting around with each other. We love yeah. getting a fart around for you. So yeah. thanks for it smelling our farts. Fun. We really appreciate it. It is very fun. Good job, we Miles, really for producing. Good yeah. job, yeah. Garrett, for driving Miles. all the way from so far away. Oh my God. Good jo job, Zach, for not dying. Yes. yes. The good, good job for taking care of that foot, man. Yeah. yeah. Truly. You know, people haven't heard that story yet. Oh, what? they haven't. No, I'm about. You've to. been saving it. Yeah, I'm dropping uh, a video. Okay, We've like done 100 episodes, guys. Hey, to 274 more. <laughs> <laughs> What's I'm at that Corn reference? You got anything to promote? Hmm? What's that reference? It's, it's just, not a reference. It's just a really good joke. It's just good. 274 more. Just like it's we'll just probably do around. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's sorry. Just a um, I want to promote something. Uh, go follow Swapskis for uh, Women's Month this month. We are helping ourselves to crowdfund the rest of building the app. We only need about fifty thousand dollars more. I'm only hey. to invest fifty thousand. Only. I'm at Corn Day and all things. I'm at Kelsey Darrow and all the things. I'm at Garrett Bernard and all the things. Woo! And until and until next time, uh, Bella, give me a smooch. <laughs> <laughs>